how do saints uh i just finished a teaching and it brought something else up that i i think that we we need to understand the saints remember i uh i spoke on sound doctrine and then doctrine okay this is doctrine that many hear uh if you ask god to forgive you he'll forgive you and basically that's what they say if you ask god to forgive you he'll forgive you that's doctrine sound doctrine is this if you sorrow in a worldly manner that works death if you sorrow in a godly manner well, that's repentance forgiveness comes through repentance works a godly sorrow works repentance worldly sorrow works death so will god not forgive us if we ask for forgiveness oh, let me rephrase that can god not forgive us when we ask for forgiveness the answer to that is yes if god looks at your heart and sees a worldly sort of sorrow that's sound doctrine we have a lot of saints out there uh, that they're just god forgive me and you know something they have not been forgiven of it because their heart is displaying to god a worldly sort of sorrow let's go to second corinthians 7 11 where it describes godly a, a godly sort of repentance for behold the self same thing that you sorrowed after a godly sort what carefulness it wrought in you yea clearing of yourselves yea indignation yea fear yea vehement desire yea zeal yea revenge in all things you and in all you have approved yourselves to be clear of this matter remember there is a godly sort and there is a worldly let's go to second same place second corinthians 7 you just go up a little bit uh 10 uh well it's just going up to nine now i rejoice not that you were made sorry but that you sorrowed to repentance you saw road to repentance if ye were made sorry after a godly manner that ye might receive damage by us and nothing for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of but the sorrow of the world worketh death now, brothers and sisters i'm just gonna be honest with you that sound doctrine it's not the doctrine that many people are preaching and teaching if you just ask god to forgive you he'll forgive you god's faithful god is faithful and he will forgive you but that's doctrine that's not sound doctrine because that doctrine has a lot of people asking for forgiveness in a worldly sort and brothers and sisters god does not forgive that it is a look godly manner godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation that you saw it after a godly sort so if there's a godly sorrow we also know that, that you can sorrow after a worldly manner that worldly sorrow worketh death that you can sorrow in a god a worldly sort so all of these preachers and teachers and that are saying just ask god to forgive you god's faithful he'll forgive you 
that's not exactly sound doctrine. Now listen to me. Because the biggest part of this is to salvation. <laughs> there is a godly manner, a godly sort, a godly sorrow. That's what God recognizes in the heart. And that worketh repentance. What is repentance? It's a carefulness that's wrought in you. Now, that's just by God's grace now. Don't be thinking we're doing this in the flesh. See, if we try to do it in the flesh, that's a worldly sort. It's a, it's a work wrought in you, worked in you. It's a carefulness. It's recognizing, it's seeing, it's understanding, it's a grieving. It's a clearing of yourself. And then he describes, he says, indignation, fear, vehement desire, zeal. Revenge is even put in here. That's a power word. And all ye have approved yourselves to be clear of this matter. Saying, I'm sorry, Father, forgive me. If God looks down and your heart is at worldly matter, a worldly sort, guess what? There is no repentance unto salvation. So, doctrine, sound doctrine. The full counsel of God is what Paul speaks of it as. So, can a saint Ask for forgiveness and not receive it from the Father. The answer to that is yes. Absolutely. How do we know this? God tells us in his word. Can an unbeliever say a prayer? They call it the Romans Road prayer or whatever they call that hogwash. Be ducked in the water. And not have been forgiven of their sin. Yes. Yet a man will tell them they have been forgiven. Welcome to the house of God. There is doctrine and there is sound doctrine. See, we're not supposed to be little children anymore. But we were swayed by any and every doctrine that comes along. We're supposed to know the truth because, see, it's only the truth that sets, makes, however you want to say it, free. Well, this is the word today. And this came from upon my heart after speaking that one to Brother Ryan. Because there's a lot of us out there, brothers and sisters. You know, my wife asked me for, for forgiveness in that house one day. It had been a while back. And she said, I'm sorry, Can you? would you forgive me for what I said? And I looked up at her and said, nope. Y'all have seen the look on her face. Well, what do you mean? I said, because, Judy, you're not really sorry you said it. You're not really sorry you said it. So no, I, I'm not going to forgive you. I turn all that over to God. I ain't going to allow no bitterness to get sprung up in my heart. I turn it over to God. But can I forgive you? No. See, I can't do what God won't do. I can't do what God can't do. If we start thinking that, we have become as Lucifer. You remember all of what started all that him, that him ha up there? He wanted to exalt himself above God. If you are listen to me, forgiveness comes in different manners and different ways. Sometimes we just we can forgive one on one. A lot of times we turn it over to God. 
man, look, Paul said, hey, I'm turning these over to you, and, and I pray they get what's coming to them. Well, then he spoke on no, and I pray he don't get what's coming to him. But but did Paul forgive them? No, he turned them over to God. There's a lot of things we just got to turn over to God so the bitterness don't set up our heart. So, remember this. And, and, and since you know this, you're being told the truth right now. See, here, here's what, here's where it's going to, the rubber hits the road, is what they say. Since you've been told this truth, and now you you really understand the truth. I mean, it's real simple. The worldly sorrow of God is going to see that heart, and, and no, he's not one of them. It's a godly sort of godly manner that works repentance to salvation. Now that you know that, when you see a preacher, a teacher, a brother, a sister, and they say, Man, just ask God to forgive, and, and he'll do that. And you don't teach them the fullness of doctrine. You know something? Guess where you are? You're in sin. Because we're supposed to look unto another's wealth, betterment, above our own. Well, now that you know, the next time you see somebody say something like that, you need to expound on it and say, wait a minute, brother. According to the word of God, if God looks at your heart and sees a worldly sorrow, they're not forgiven. It's only when God sees that godly sort, that godly manner of sorrow. And take them to this and show them. Here I hear it's God's word, Second Corinthians 7. <laughs> if you don't, I'm going. To, I'm just going to tell you how the cow ate the cavity. If you don't, this is what God said: You don't love your neighbor. You don't love your brothers and sisters in Christ. And if you don't love them, you don't love God. God does not wink at ignorance no more. We are without excuse. So what you going to do the next time you see such things as doctrine? Are you going to expound to make sure they understand sound doctrine? Or are you just going to let it ride? With wisdom comes much sorrow. The more wisdom and understanding you get, your heart is going to become more sorrowful on the things that you see with your eyes and read and hear with your ears. But the thing is, where are you going to stand? Are you going to love them and tell them the truth? Even though they might hate you, they might want to argue up and down, but they're not arguing with you. Well, I'm not going to argue with them. They're not arguing with you. They're arguing with the Word of God. They're arguing with God. Remember, if we correct a brother in there, we gain a brother if he accepts it. If they don't accept it, we lose a brother. That's just the way that is. So, does God always forgive everybody that asks for forgiveness? According to man, yeah. According to God, nope. Does God forgive a saint every time they ask God to forgive them? Nope. Conditions. Y'all know that I this word unconditional love is nowhere in Scripture. God's love is based on conditions. Repentance and forgiveness also as well, based on conditions. If we if if we think we can forgive without the conditions, then we think that we are higher and ex we exalt ourselves above God, and we have taken the image of Lucifer. 
Hey, I always love you. I'm always praying for you. I'm going to tell you something. I speak this because I love you. I don't speak this to stir up. I don't. But it is the truth. It is sound doctrine that we are in need of to become that perfect saint. God's word is given us for the perfecting of the saints. We are all involved as a member of the body with perfecting each other in some way or another. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all next time around.